Pam for Cool Banker, Dan Harp Realtor. Today I'm coming to you from beautiful Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. How about three years ago, I did a motorcycle tour of this gorgeous base. I was stationed here for six years. For those who don't know, I am a retired Master Sergeant. Spent six years at Randolph, and like most people who've been stationed there before, they end up retiring in the local area because they realize just how wonderful this, this area is. But PCS orders have just come out, and a lot of people have just got orders to Randolph Air Force Base. I'm hoping they're watching this video to learn about the area a little bit. So today I'm going to do a motorcycle tour of the City of Shirts. I'm not going through every different community, but I want to give you an idea of what the Shirts, Texas area is about. I'm also going to do a Cibolo, Texas uh, tour. That's going to be in a different video because I don't want to bore you that much. But uh, yeah, let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. I just want to show a little bit of this beautiful area. That's the Taj. That used to be an old water tower. This base was built in the early 1930s. Got a gorgeous Missing Man monument. I actually participated in a tattoo ceremony where I came out of uh, behind that Missing Man monument back in the good God, late 90s. Uh, this used to be the little uh, BX area that, that had like three places. Uh, it was a class six, and but now it's all used for admin stuff. You do have uh, the BX back there. Not a lot has changed since my motorcycle tour video, except for they did just add a brand new gas station right behind the old gas station, uh, if you're familiar with it. And there's the base chapel number one, beautiful 17th century style base chapel. And we noticed they don't have, uh, it's hard to see, but uh, they didn't finish it trying to keep up that tradition. That's why I got married back in 2002. All right, let's get on my beautiful Tiger 900 and go for that ride. All right, now I'm not gonna do a full base tour because I already did that a couple years ago. Hopefully you saw the link I had up above before checking that out. But this is what's new for uh, 2024. The Valero Station, brand new shop bit. It's really nice, really convenient because yeah, this used to be the only gas station on base. You do have the BX right there and on the other side you've got like the B Extra. But yeah, for, oops, didn't mean to do that, wrong gear. Anyways, uh, for those who've been stationed here before, yeah, this was the line you would drive through and kind of curve around to get to the, uh, for the other gas station. But we still have, uh, there's the commissary back up in front of me. Um, Randolph Brooks, and for those who don't know, Randolph Brooks is an amazing place to go for car loans. Uh, really good rate, really good people to do. Uh, I wouldn't, they're okay, I guess, if you're trying to do mortgages, but uh, yeah, absolutely love being stationed here. Uh, I live in shirts. We'll drop by my neighborhood in a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to give an idea of what this whole area looks like because if you've never been stationed here before, I know how I am. I want all the information, so I thought it was a good idea to come out and do a video tour of this place. And for those people, people who have been stationed here before these fields used to be the airmen's housing for like those young married couples um and same on this side but um in the late 2000s they took all those down and now you've got these big open fields at the front of the base all right <clears throat> let's go ahead and head to the uh church is such a weird shaped city let's go ahead and head to the back part of Randolph Air Force Base on 1518. There's some really nice communities back there and that's also a really good spot if to be at if you're stationed at Fort Sam because you can just cut down I-10 and cut over to get to Fort Sam. So that gives you a really good spot or if you're at Fort Sam you can come up I-35 to get to the search symbol area. Now this is Pat Booker. This is Universal City. Uh, Anybody who's been stationed here before knows all about going up and down Pat Booker, some restaurants and stuff, but it's all kind of on the old scale um, in UC. However, uh, this gathering place, that's a pretty cool place to go have a beer and stuff. But this isn't Universal City tour, this is a shirts tour. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on to the back of Randolph Air Force Base, because uh, that's part of Shirts, Texas. And uh, we'll continue the video from there. Alright, see you in a second. All right, this is going to be an odd place to start the video, because, tour of Shirts, Texas, 
because Church, Texas is a really weird shaped city. It does go all the way back to this is the intersection of I-10 and 1518. And I mentioned in my intro that the Church Cibolo area is a wonderful place for people being stationed in both Randolph and Fort Sam. A lot of people don't know that uh, you're only a 25 minute drive down I-10 here to get to Lackland Air Force Base. So there's very few spots that's ideal if you want to live in the church area and still be stationed at Lackland. This back corner behind Randolph Air Force Base is an ideal spot and there's some really nice communities. Uh, you would spend most I worked near Randolph shortly after I retired helping a buddy of mine get his company going and I live in Shirts, Texas. It took me 30 minutes to get from my house in Shirts to this point here and then about 25 minutes to get to uh, from this location where I'm at right now to uh, just outside of Lackland. But anyways there are some nice communities and I want to be able to capture this uh, um, well, first let me talk about these communities. There are some little older, like half acre spots there, nothing new, but some pre-existing homes that are kind of nice. Uh, this is Halley's Cove, uh, Highland and Guillen building there, gorgeous, gorgeous homes. Uh, just not very big lots, so that's going to be really nice if that's what you're looking for. But one of the reasons I wanted to do this video today is next week, um, the Texas uh, Department of Transportation is starting a three-year project widening this road. This has been a long time coming. Uh, they've been moving the power lines a little further out, but they're going to make this road two lanes each way with a middle divider and like bike lanes on each side, which is kind of cool. We do have some old stuff here, but I think a lot of this stuff is about to be changed dramatically. But I want to make you aware of what's going on because there are some communities that I really like that are just opening up new sections. Uh, this is the Crossvine community. I absolutely love Crossvine, so quite a few homes in there. But what you're seeing is their brand new section that they're getting ready to start selling homes in. They're working on their model homes now. Looks like one or two spec homes. Um, but I love the builders in there. Uh, David Weekly is probably my favorite favorite builder in that community. Um, you are right out behind Randolph Air Force Base. And when I was talking about the construction that's going on here, you can bypass all of that because there is a road going from Cross Vine. You can stay in the community all the way to get to Lower Seguin Road, which spits you out in, next to the uh, back entrance to Randolph Air Force Base. You have a charter school back here if you're not interested in the public schools. This is Founders Elementary School. My wife actually taught there for a couple of years. Uh, very um, like founding fathers oriented uh, curriculum. Really uh, tough curriculum though. Uh, be expect if your kid isn't being challenged enough in elementary school, here's more of the Crossvine community. And I have done a motorcycle tour of the Crossvine community. I'll put that up here somewhere love it and a lot of my clients who did buy there they absolutely love it too but i'm about founders um yeah they are going to give you quite a bit of homework and they are going to push you and they are kind of a consequence based uh school if you don't do your homework they're not giving you second chances or if you forget your coat well your kiddo might be cold that day but they're going to learn not to forget their coat the next time uh i don't know what's going on right here that's brand new since the last time i've driven down this road but um, you do have an elementary school here. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. This part of Cross Vine, this is gonna be the garden home section. They were going hard and heavy on it, but then they put a pause on it and I guess started focusing on the new section. Brand new fire department for, uh, for the Shirts, Texas area. Especially good to know if you're gonna be in this area. If you're uh, having a little heart attack, you wanna make sure the fire department's kinda close by. Um, but yes, yeah, this is Lower Seguin Road. This road here kicks you right into the back gate of Randolph Air Force Base, really making it easy to get around. There is another community uh, that sells Liberty Homes right down this road. Uh, Real Liberty is a really good mid-level builder, uh, really nice community, and they've got some homes to sell. One of my clients who've been in, living in Germany for a long time, he just bought a home back there. 
and it puts him close to his uh, son and grandchild and uh, back part of Randolph Air Force Base. This is Corbett Middle School. Yes, my friends, that is a middle school. I know it looks like a junior college campus, but in Texas, we do our schools up big. And up in front of us, that is Rose Garden Elementary. Uh, it replaced a very old Rose Garden Elementary that's been in church for a long, long time. But that's where that's at. So on this back part of this area you have some nice communities uh this is all pre-existing no new construction in this community but there are some nice homes some of them are built by lennar and they have a couple of other builders in it it's not the cheap lennar builders those were a little bit higher end but i think i forget all the builders that build back there but there's some beautiful homes in that community but also right behind randolph to where you don't get stuck in what's going to be a uh, construction mess improving this area here all right coming up into this portion of 1518 is a section i like to call little redneckville um but like i said things are changing rapidly uh some of the people that you be like looking at some of the homes like oh this uh they some of the homes have already been gone and moved out um or not quite at the Redneckville portion yet. But I do want you to know, uh, this is on the Bear County side of Cibolo Creek. Cibolo Creek is off to my right. So if you're looking in the cross find, you are gonna be in Bear County, not Guadalupe County. What that means is your tax rate's gonna be a little bit higher and it's gonna be a little more bureaucracy hoops to jump through dealing with a mega county like Bear County compared to Guadalupe County. This is kind of what I meant about like little Redneckville mobile home things, but I do believe once this road project gets cleared out, things will change. We're on the side of Randolph Air Force Base, so you will hear the sound of freedom flying over you every now and then. This is a training base. We're not going to have like the F-16s unless there's an air show. But, uh, oh, super cool, very old cemetery down there. I like that a lot. But yeah, they do open these gates here for the air show. We got one coming up, uh, actually I think next month. Uh, so I always like to go to those, always good times. But yeah, a lot of this stuff here is changing rapidly to much more newer, modern, because times are changing in the church below area. And kind of see the drop off Derek Sybil Creek's just on the other side of these trees. Now we're coming up onto 78, which puts you into the front part of Randolph Air Force Base. We do have, uh, in this area, we do have a lot of um, quarries. So yeah, be ready for that if you're PCSing to the Randolph uh, area or anything on this side of San Antonio. And when I say be ready for it, you, you're getting stuck behind some rock trucks. Um, you might get a ding or something in the front of your paint job. Some people put those little DuPont plastic layers. All right, this is where we're going to start seeing some changes. They've been already sprucing this stuff up. But this road here is during morning traffic. This is 78. It does get backed up. We're going to end our tour coming back down this way. But I want to show you the main roads around the Shirts, Texas area, because we're still in Shirts. Make sure I don't die here. I like living. All right, crossing Cibolo Creek. There's a little advert sign for uh, cross vine. And now we're in Guadalupe County, still in Shirts, but in Guadalupe County where things just make a little more sense, in my opinion. I love Guadalupe County. All right, there's some stuff, more stuff I want to show you in 78, but we'll do that at the end of the video. I want to take you down to the old part of Shirts because there's some really interesting stuff. Crossing the train tracks, which does run twice a day when you're in a hurry and when you're not in a hurry. All right, this is the old part of the Shirts, Texas area. 
there and the reason I wanted to come down here is there's some really neat little bars and entertainment section bar house is a super cool place to be they've been really sprucing this up uh, purple pig military owned uh, family owns that and back behind there it's called like the hidden grove some live music uh, this restaurant changes quite a bit <laughs> But you do have some old houses back here, but I definitely wanted to show you the uh, bar house, um, the city of Cibolo, which is going to be in a separate video because these aren't the most exciting videos, uh, and I don't want to bore you too much. But the city of Cibolo, their downtown is much nicer. City of Church is trying to catch up. The very, very old hospital, uh, way back in the day, it's now got like little mini apartments in it. One of my favorite mechanic place we just drove by so I missed that one more uh, coffee shops and stuff like this all right here's one of the main roads that runs through the area this is Shirts Parkway that's 78 so you know where, you, where we are but Shirts Parkway is gonna go through kind of the older part of Shirts um, like I said, you're going to see the smaller, older houses, especially off to our left. They're actually still very nicely kept neighborhoods. It's just they're smaller and older. Like I said, homes built back in the 50s and 60s. Everybody's out on the motorcycle today. Very motorcycle friendly area. Uh, Shirts uh, vet, vet, Veterans Memorial Park, really nicely done, and an absolutely gorgeous YMCA just opened a few years ago with a big Olympic-sized pool. They do swim lessons, uh, and one of the best libraries I've ever been to. The Shirts Public Library is absolutely gorgeous. This is Clemens High School right here. Uh, it was the only high school in this area for a long time. And now you have Steel High School in the Cibolo area. But yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of older stuff here on my left. There's one brand new, uh, new construction community that I believe is still selling uh, that we're about to come up. But there's not a lot of new construction in shirts. Uh, just because it's kind of all been filled up except for what we just saw in uh, Behind us. This is also a parade route. Um, it's really cool. Shirts has a 4th of July parade and a Christmas parade and it all culminates uh, ends up in this is like the downtown shirts uh, City stuff the Chamber of Commerce uh, you got your water department, but yeah the Christmas parade all ends up here but yeah you'll see people lined up all along these streets watching the both the fourth of july parade and the christmas parade it's really cool to have that old town feel to it watching the parades some nice little shops here some of the restaurants i know the ice cream place is pretty popular the big papa pizza they make good pizza there go check them out some lower cost uh apartments and a medical center, uh, I'm sure just like the rest of the country, you've seen those pop up everywhere. All right, this is the new construction community. Uh, you have, I believe it's all gonna be Coventry back in this community. Some more uh, business park area, a lot of office spaces available. And now we're going to go into a lot of uh, kind of pre-existing homes. It's February. We're kind of an early part of spring. So a lot of these trees are getting ready to bloom. But uh, I was like, I need to knock this video out because, yeah, PCS season's happening. And people just don't know about this beautiful area. We have uh, some of these older communities. Uh, got some really nice, I wouldn't say older homes, but homes built in the 90s, which... A lot of this church Cibolo area was built at, especially church. But you're going to have some beautiful oak trees in the back of these houses. Uh, I got friends of mine that live, uh, I think, the next community up. And uh, several people I know live in Woodbridge. But just tons of oak trees back there. And uh, it's just really beautiful. But as we're coming up here, we're heading towards I-35. And then what we'll do is I'll show you what's on the 
part of that highway and then we'll head back down the street I live off of 3009 but yeah this gives a good illustration about all the beautiful oak trees in the backyard really nice communities um, a lot of people really enjoy living in this area and uh, yeah I know I do and uh, most of my friends that were stationed with me at Randolph back in the late 90s, early 2000s, they've all come back to this area because once you've lived here, it's like this is kind of the perfect middle ground. Uh, it's not too, uh, how do I say it without offending people? It's not too low, but it's also not too high where you got like the helicopter moms and poverty or it, it doesn't have like the low poverty, but it also doesn't have the uh, snootiness area. There's really not any snootiness going on or uppiness in this area. Another good elementary school. Look up the shirt, Cibolo ISD. That's pretty good ISD. I like it a lot. More and more of these little small coffee shops popping up everywhere. Uh, little drive through things. I like that a lot. The On the Grind was the original one that's popped up in the area. And I really like their business thing. They saw the Starbucks lines, the drive through just backed up forever. And they decided, hey, we can, uh, let's just build a drive through And it's been a huge hit. A lot of people go through the drive through for their coffee. Uh, property tax rates. The shirts area, you're looking at around 2.4% property taxes, um, which isn't the best, but it also isn't the worst. I know some communities in uh, Bear County, you're looking at like 2.9. So it's kind of in the middle of the road, but if you go up to New Braunfels, which I love New Braunfels, been watching my channel, um, they're, look, they're around 2.1. And there's some new communities that are coming up in the Seguin area, which is going to be like 1.6 something, just crazy low. All right, we're coming up to I-35, a lot of like little dentist offices, some apartments up here. But you can tell you got pretty good access to Randolph Air Force Base. Um, where we started the video off, it's also got really, that area is really great for being at Fort Sam as well. But this is I-35. Uh, you're from here you're just about a 15 to 20 minute drive from here south on I-35 to get to Fort Sam heading down that way but we're not going that way uh, I do try to stay out of San Antonio proper as much as possible but we do have plenty of stuff to see on this part of I-35 so you see the sign there, 3009 slash Natural Bridge Caverns. Uh, that's how we say it, it's not 3009, it's 3009. Uh, one thing I do like about being a retiree in shirts is the medical clinic. Uh, they, that's that strip mall right there, that's the shirts medical clinic. It's basically like you're walking into an on-base clinic. So doctors, really nice physical therapy section, and it's all super convenient. Uh, here comes more of your strip malls stuff, your IHOPs, you got your Lowe's, um, hair cutting places. On the other side, you got more um, stuff, Tropical Smoothie, KFC, Taco Bell. We, and we have our HEB, and if you're moving to the area and have never experienced HEB, it's probably the best grocery store on the planet. Ask any Texan, they will say the same thing because HEB is awesome. This is the HEB Plus, means it's a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer. Uh, we did have a restaurant in it and it's on bar, but since COVID, they kind of shut that down and I don't know if that's coming back. All right, 3009, this direction is shirts. That's also shirts, but it's kind of the industrial area, but it also goes back to Natural Bridge Caverns. And if you're looking for a fun family thing to do, Natural Bridge Caverns is definitely a lot of fun. It's really nice. We have Taco Cabana here. That's where our go-to uh, Mexican food restaurant stuff is. Uh, I don't go to Taco Bell much anymore ever because I really like Taco Cabana. More H-E-B, really good uh, Mexican food, food trucks there. 
We do have QT here. Make sure my GoPro still up. That's become my go-to gas station because yes, I live right off of here. Um, just down the road, we do have uh, two mega movie theaters. You got the Evo and Santigos. One's gonna be on like the shirt side, one's on the Cibolo, Texas side. But uh, yeah, it's where you've got the recliners and you push button, people bring you food, booze, and it's a really cool place. It's got bowling alleys. That's all new coming in. Uh, we do have some more pre-existing homes here on 3009. But you can tell lots of neat trees. Once again, a lot of this stuff was built in the early to late 90s. We're coming up on my subdivision, which was built, yeah, late 90s, uh, early 2000s. There's one of those on the grinds I was talking about before. And don't worry, we're almost through with the tour. I'm just doing these two main streets so you can have an idea. Uh, like I said, we have no shortage of dental clinics, no shortage of uh, nail places. We have our Walgreens, uh, another dental place. That one just opened up. Uh, Anchor Bar, if you come from the Buffalo area, they just relocated that corner there. They do kind of like traditional Buffalo, New York style wings. Really nice church. They have like some uh, kids camps and stuff, things where they do like science camp there at the church. We send, we don't go to that church, but we send our daughter to a little week long science camp every year, which is always super cool. Pet barns, all that stuff. So, you really have everything you need in the shirts area. This is Greenshire. This is the community that I live in. It's really nice. Well, not super nice. It's nice for me. Cross Point Church, really another nice church. And this community here, Deer Creek, I like it a lot too. Some of the homes are going to be a little bit dated, but... Uh, you can get some really nice good yardage and stuff like that. All right, let me pull in here. I see my battery's getting ready to die, so let me change that out real quick. All right, that's all taken care of now. We do have the church funeral home, and unfortunately I was there just a few weeks ago for the service of one of my favorite retired chief mass sergeants ever, Mr. Chief Paul Hogan. Uh, God bless that man. He was an amazing person. Touched a lot of people's lives. So, uh, yeah. Gonna miss him a lot. Anybody in the military community that knew Chief Paul Hogan, you know what I'm talking about. Um, now, you know, I could have gone a lot further down on the road for that frontage for I-35. Uh, because church does technically go right along the highway there and that gets us to the community of Homestead But it's just a really thin strip of uh, Shirts right along the highway, but Homestead is a wonderful community. I've done multiple tours of that too um, More uh, assisted living places We've got like the hot works a really nice uh, Fobo bar another Starbucks. Yay um Slim chickens, they're pretty good. To get you to know where we are, Clemens High School is just down this road. We are running parallel to Shirts Parkway, is what 3009 does. And yet, oops, oops, wrong gear, wasn't paying attention. All right, now we're on track. Um, if you're looking for a inexpensive uh, dive Mexican place, Jalisco right there is one of my go-tos. Really like that spot a lot. Nice apartment complexes, another Met Health Center, what might someday be the future home of a coal banker office, which is not looking too promising right now. But we're now coming up to 78 again. 
and if you're looking for like where the traffic patterns are this is where it usually starts bogging down in the morning for getting into the front base front part of randolph air force base automotive place but uh turning left puts us into Cibolo which I'll do another video on it because I really do like Cibolo and I'll often say shirt Cibolo because they're so intertwined really nice Thai restaurant right there in front of us you got Subway of course and now we're back on 78 um, this does back up quite a bit during morning traffic coming in so Remember earlier I mentioned it would take like 30 minutes to get to from my house there in Greenshire subdivision just to the back part of Randolph because yeah that's everyone's trying to get in on base early in the morning. <clears throat> um, this is a little bit of an older part of the town. There's some uh, much older stuff back there to my right. But if you see that caboose up there, that used to be kind of like the landmark for this old furniture store that sat empty for a couple of decades. But Guadalupe County uh, came in, bought it, gutted it out. So that's where you go to get your vehicles registered, sign up for protests and your taxes. Um, all that good stuff is right there. More new stuff coming in. Let me see back there, you can see what used to be an old drive-in movie. It is no more. Really cool VFW, those people are great. Um, and a Chinese restaurant that kind of caught fire, but they're rebuilding it. Of course, you have to have your low cost uh, muffler repair tire shop. And this is that old part of Shirts. We're back to Shirts Parkway here, and that's kind of where we started at going up that way. And we're coming, uh, there's the classic collision place, that's where I take uh, a lot of my big... No, it's uh, the next one up. Old Main Place. That's a really good mechanic here. Main Street, garage. So if you're looking for a mechanic, he, he does a pretty good job and not a crazy price. I was surprised how inexpensive it was to get my rotors done on my uh, Ram pickup truck. Well, yeah, overall, I really like living in the Cert Cibolo area. I've got such easy access to everything I want to have access to, and if I want to go spend the day in New Braunfels, which uh, we did just a few days ago, you can because it takes about 20 minutes from Shirts to get to New Braunfels, and uh, that's such a lovely area. We got Wimberley. Uh, last week we took a day trip and spent the whole day in Wimberley, which is uh, not too far from San Marcos, but living this area. Uh, if you got orders here, definitely recommend you get out and about because there's so much to do in the Texas Hill Country. The people here are great. Randolph is an absolutely beautiful base. Hope you saw my tour of it. And hopefully you see a little bit of value. I know it's not an exciting video, but I know whenever I would get orders to PCS somewhere, I wanted all the information possible just so I could get to know the area before I moved to it. So hopefully you are watching me online right now get to know me a little bit and uh, hopefully you reach out to me to have me uh, help you relocate to this area because I'd be happy to be your real estate agent once again it costs you nothing to use me as your realtor so I'll be happy to help so don't go through this process alone builders do not give discounts for folks who don't have real estate agents beautiful Randolph Air Force Base again so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up Oh, I was going to say, in the mornings, they do have this is they do have this gate open. There's three gates on the front of the base. They do have this one open. The next one's the main gate, and then the other side gate. They do open those up in the morning, just trying to expedite getting people in the front part of the base. And then you have the one gate on the back. All right, just went through uh, the main gate for security force uh, OPSEC purposes. I don't really like videoing those guys as I'm coming through the gate. Anyways, uh, hopefully you like what I do on this channel and you got some great information about the uh, 
shirts area and uh, congratulations on if you just got orders to Randolph Air Force Base absolutely love it and uh, yeah like I said before if you want to use me as your real estate agent my contact information will be on the final slide hopefully you consider it uh, and I'll be happy to help anyways hit that like button subscribe to my channel but most importantly share these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye